Hi, my name's Laura from Progressive Business Technologies. PBT is one of the leading Ostendo dealers in Australia, with offices in Adelaide, Brisbane, Sydney and Perth. I'll be taking you through the new features of the Ostendo CRM module. The hub of the CRM module is the Operations Centre. The new Operations Centre screen in Ostendo is one of the most useful and functionally rich screens. Think of the Operations Centre as a portal to business information, key performance indicators and vital business statistics. It pulls together all activities and emails from the entire system into one screen, making information immediately viewable and accessible. The idea of this screen is to allow users to view activities on the premise that an entity or an activity or module is the centre of the universe. In other words, if I was dealing with a customer, then I'd be able to see everything about that customer and be able to transact their common actions or requests. To make the demonstration easy to follow and to give you information in bite-sized chunks, this demonstration has been broken into three sessions. The general overview and orientation is a run through the standard features of the operation centre and how to navigate through the screen. The en enhanced call centre and ticketing functions. This includes the creation of process flows, pipelines, graphical timelines and multiple actions against call tickets. And finally, Ostendo's email services. This is a new module that allows for automatic emailing of reminders, ticket actions and also the ability to request information via email from employees out in the field. You can also send files to Ostendo from out in the field like photos, notes or actions for call tickets. So let's get in there and have a look at what the Operations Centre has to offer. You access the Operations Centre through the CRM module. As we look at the type drop down box, you can see that the entities you can select as the primary focus of the screen. You can see customer supplier, customer asset, etc. Let's open up a customer file and have a look at the information that is displayed. Some of the data fields on the screen are self explanatory, but I'll just highlight a few. If we click the display pending events, this box allows you to include pending events. An example of this would be pending purchase orders and assembly orders. There are three modes for this screen. Activity is the default mode and brings in all activities related to the selection entity that you've chosen. The activities displayed can be defined to suit your own company requirements. The relationship allows you to select a certain type of activity, for example, a sales invoice. What this returns is all the related activities to that particular sales order. So in this instance, there's a customer payment and a customer ticket. The search mode allows you to search for a series of characters across all activities. Let's go back to a customer activity listing. The left arrow will take you back through the screens you have visited and if you select the down arrow, it gives you a listing of all the screens that you've visited as well and you can go back directly to a particular screen by checking on that box. The list tab is the hub of the screen and displays the information based on what you have selected above. Each action can be colour coded for ease of recognition. The activity type is defined and in blue italics a description of what the activity is about. The same grouping and sorting functions apply that are throughout the rest of the Ostendo system. So we can drag items up to group them and we can also use the filtering function. Let's go to the priority notes toolbar. As you can see here there's a little alarm clock icon with the caption important to the right of it. Priority notes is a feature designed for where there might be something important to remember to say the next time you're talking to a customer. As you can see here, there's a note that says to remember that this customer is CAD. To get rid of that priority notes display, you click on the button. To also to get rid of filtering, you use the same function for elsewhere in the system by clicking the cancel button. Let's go to the filter conditions toolbar. Filter conditions like anywhere in the system can be defined and linked to a button in the toolbar. This allows you to quickly narrow down your view. These views can be customised to suit your business requirements. So if I click on outstanding balances for example, only the items that are outstanding will be displayed. Let's have a look at the balance bar. 
This is only displayed for customers and shows all of the items that are outstanding, unapplied deposits in the ageing category that it's appropriate. So if we click on 31 for 60 days, only the items that are in that ageing period will be displayed. Let's now look at the right click menu options from the activity list. From within the activity list, you can right click on any item to perform a range of actions such as send emails, create tickets, etc. Let's have a look at show relationship. What this does is any item related to the one that you were highlighting shows. For example, in this instance, this shows me the sales order that's related to this particular invoice. If I click on that invoice, I can also right click and create a ticket. As you can see, the call ticket is pre-populated with all the important information, including customer name and invoice that it's related to. A call ticket can have a variety of uses. In this instance, we'll create a ticket that requires follow-up. Let's now look at the KPI tab. This tab displays the key performance indicators related to your selection. When you click on each of these KPIs, the information that makes up that value appear to the right. You can colour code and define your own KPI data to be displayed. Let's go to the statistics tab. These statistics also have the items that make up each of these on the display on the right hand side. These statistics can also be defined by you to be specific to your business requirements. The sales order. When you click on any activity, the details of that item are displayed in the inquiry panel to the right. From here, you can open that activity. So if I click open, this will open the sales order that I'm highlighting. Depending on what activity you select, different tabs will appear. If we look at the contacts tab, this displays all of the contacts related to the entity you are querying. The assets tab shows any customer assets that may exist and are linked to that particular customer. These may be items that you service for that customer. The pricing tab shows all of the different price levels that are related to that customer and any special pricing that may apply. If we tab further to the right, it also shows any notes that are related to those pricing rules. If we look at the history tab, this shows all of the invoice history for the last 90 days. You can predefine the criteria that you want to show in this screen. If we look further to the right, it also shows items such as the ranking and average discount for that item and whether there has been a growth or decline in sales. Let's have a look at a customer ticket and have a look at the timeline. When you have multiple activities linked to a call ticket, this tab displays in a timeline view when tasks are done. We will go into more detail of this feature in the call centre session of the presentation. Let's have a look at the to-do list. This list gives you all the outstanding ticket actions, quote follow-ups, etc. related to the user that logs in. You can also open the tickets from here and action them. You can also right click and, cr and either create internal emails or update that item to be actioned. From the Operations Centre, you can also perform a range of new transactions such as sales orders and job orders. This concludes the general overview and orientation section of this presentation.